I'm holding my standard analog tech, uh, technology cell phone here up to my uh, computer. But John's voice is coming through my speakers on my computer and uh, vice versa when I speak to John, uh, he is hearing me through the uh, speakers on his computer or if he has a headset, he'd be hearing me uh, through his headset. Okay. So uh, the other thing that you can do with Link um, is you can integrate it with your telephone system and uh, that gives you then full uh, voice over IP capability, not just internally to somebody that's using Link like John is, but also make standard telephone calls out of your building as well. So um, that's certainly one of the next big technology waves that Microsoft is going to be introducing to the market is the telephone system functionality to uh, Link here. And uh, a lot of industry analysts are looking, uh, you know, a couple years down the road and saying that Microsoft is going to going to be a big player in the uh, business telephone system market uh, with that functionality. There are also special devices that you can buy for use with Microsoft Link. Uh, there's a really nice conference room telephone, and uh, the name escapes me right now. And John, maybe you know. Um, it's, oh, it's actually called a roundtable. Just came to mind. And basically, what that device does is uh, it's designed to be placed in the middle of a conference room environment, and it does both audio and video. So as you're communicating through Microsoft Link, that device is providing uh, the audio and video, and it zooms into the person that's talking um, at, the, at the current time. So it kind of zooms around your audience if you have you know, 10 people around the table. It does a pretty good job of uh, finding out who's actually speaking at, the, uh, at that second. So John, let's add some video here, see how handsome of a guy you are. So I'm going to add the video, and now everybody will be seeing John and uh, seeing myself here. And all you need to do the video uh, portion is just a standard webcam. Uh, so most laptops and uh, things today have webcams built in. Hello, John. And uh, I'm using an external device uh, that I picked up at, uh, at Best Buy. Uh, that was about, I think it was about $60 that does high definition video. So uh, we're in a nice video uh, chat mode here. And uh, if I added Ted uh, to this as well, then uh, Ted would uh, be able to be on video. And, and this software would actually zoom in to the person that's talking if there are more than two people on the, uh, on the call. So thank you, John. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. All right. So that's certainly a big part of Microsoft Link as a whole is uh, the audio-video capabilities. Uh, a lot of people are investing uh, fairly significant amounts of money in video conferencing uh, these days. And really, that technology is available to you for a very low cost. And the technology with webcams and things like that has come so far that you really don't need to spend a lot of money on video conferencing. Uh, if your needs are, are met by something like Link. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you as part of the Link software here is the integration with Microsoft Outlook. So uh, let me go ahead and, uh, and pull up my Microsoft Outlook here, show you what that looks like. One second to bring that up. All right. <clears throat> so inside of Outlook, as I said, uh, Microsoft Link is integrated here as well. And what that allows you to do is to schedule Link sessions uh, with either internal or even external uh, people outside of your company. So when you go into the new items, and I go down here, there's an online meeting uh, item here that's available to me. And when I click that, it um, not only brings up a meeting request in Outlook, but also then add the uh, link meeting attendee information. Okay, So when the recipient receives this, they can actually log into a session uh, using Microsoft Link, even if they don't have the software installed. So they don't need Microsoft Link to be able to participate as an external attendee. And we do a lot of demonstrations like this. So we will invite people in and share our screen all using uh, the Microsoft Link software. And again, as an external uh, participant, you don't need to already have a Microsoft Link account or don't even need to have Link installed. Uh, it will just run over the web and install it on the fly for you. And, and certainly, there's no cost to anybody external joining. 
There's also no functional limit to the amount of people that you can uh, bring into uh, one of your link presentations. However, I find that for uh, public presentations such as we're doing today, uh, that a product like GoToWebinar is a good solution for that too. There's just a lot of things that it does that uh, Link wouldn't. Uh, they're different types of products, uh, such as you know registration emails and tracking who attended and who didn't. Doing polls and things like that are all part of GoToWebinar. That things that aren't part of uh, Microsoft Link. Okay. So the other thing that is important to note with uh, Link meetings here uh, that you're sending out is that it does not include a voice number. So you have to provide a conference call number separately. Um, from the link functionality. So there are some services out there. We used one for, for quite a while called freeconferencecall.com, uh, which is a, is a great service. And just as it says, it's totally free. Um, so as long as you have your own conference bridge, so to speak, uh, then you, uh, you would put that in the meeting request here and tell people how to dial in for the audio portion. Uh, of course, the other way to do it is not to include a phone number and have everybody use their, their microphone and speakers on their PC. However, again, if you're doing it externally with customers and prospects and maybe even vendors, um, that may not be the best solution is they, they may not have speakers connected to their PC, for example, and that means then they just purely wouldn't even be able to hear. So it might not be the best solution. Okay. All right. So that really is Microsoft Link uh, as, a, as a good overview to the product. Um, and I'm wondering if, uh, if anybody has any questions. Let me just go over to the, to the question manager here. Um, the other uh, areas that Link integrates with, by the way, are, are a lot of the other Microsoft products and even some non-Microsoft products, so uh, SharePoint. Uh, also, Microsoft CRM. Uh, it integrates with Microsoft CRM for presence information. And uh, what I mean by presence is that inside of Microsoft CRM, when you look at a contact, maybe a customer contact, or an internal person, it's going to show you on the screen whether they're available or not, again, based on their Outlook calendar or the status that they have set on their Link client software. So it's not just an Office type of product or an Outlook type of integrated product. It also integrates with, uh, with other technologies, both Microsoft and uh, non-Microsoft. All right, so let's see uh, what questions we have here. I don't really see any, uh, any questions. Does anybody have any questions at this point? I know we scheduled uh, about an hour for today's presentation. It looks like we got through uh, things pretty quickly. So if there are any questions, we can certainly uh, certainly address them. Dave, I think Jerry had a question about replaying link recordings. Oh, great. Yeah, I do see a uh, question in here. It looks like uh, you may be uh, already using Microsoft Link and was trying to do some recording and playing them back. Uh, it does record them in a certain format that uh, requires some speci specificity. Um, if that's a word, on uh, how you play them back. So I'm not sure of your, your exact situation in terms of what difficulties you might have had playing that back. Uh, it's something that we'd have to, have to take a look at from a technical standpoint. But we do recording of the sessions here on our end as well. And uh, we, we play them back and we even share them externally. In fact, a copy of today's session uh, is being recorded and will be posted on our website uh, here within a couple days. So there is the recording capability as well. And uh, we'd have to look at your environment a little bit uh, more detailed to know uh, what difficulties you've had. Any other questions from anyone? All right. Well, if anybody is, uh, is interested in taking a closer look at Link, talking specifically about how it would work in your environment, uh, what benefits to your business that uh, Link would offer, certainly reach out to us here at Behringer. Uh, you can reach us again online at www.behringer.net, and Behringer is B-E-R-I-N-G-E-R, -E or you can feel free to give us a call at 800-796-4854. Hope everybody found today's session and, and looking at Microsoft Link valuable. Uh, we'll be certainly hosting a lot more of these type of quick technology sessions to introduce you to different technologies that we're excited about. And if you have any ideas, uh, suggestions on different technologies you'd like to see covered in these sessions, by all means, uh, shoot us an email and uh, let us know. We'd be happy to, uh, happy to uh, do some sessions with your suggestions. Well, thank you again, everybody, for joining. I'm going to go ahead and close out the uh, session. And if anybody would like a copy of the recorded session, feel free to reach out to us as well.
Thanks again for joining and have a great day.